Hi, I'm Darcel Lobo, and I own Dow Law Firm in Normandy Park, and here today to talk to you about a probate overview and an outline of that process. Now, let's start with what is probate. Probate is the court's oversight of the administration of one's estate after they've passed away. So in simpler terms, it's where you're gathering all assets, all debts, paying all the debts, and making distributions according to one's will, or if there is no will, according to state law. Now, probate can be done with or without a will. If there is a will, then probate will be done according to that person's will, and the probate court will oversee the administration of one's estate pursuant to that will. If there is not a will, probate will still be done, but distributions to heirs will be made according to state law, and the court will oversee uh, to ensure that that is complied with and that the proper heirs, again, under state law, are the ones that receive the inheritance of the person's estate. Now, there are a few ways to avoid probate here in Washington State, and let's go over a few of those um, options. So one of them is to use a revocable living trust. A revocable living trust is a set of instructions of what you want to have happen, very similar to a will, but the difference is that a revocable living trust is a living document that you create now and comes into existence now. During your lifetime, you are the trustee of that trust and you are making dis uh, distributions according to the terms of your own trust. So during your lifetime, you're handling your affairs just as you always have. But upon your passing, you will name someone in your trust as your successor trustee. And that person will take over after your passing and make distributions according to the terms of your trust. And that's what differentiates a will from a revocable living trust. The will is just a set of instructions of what you want to have happen, but requires probate oversight. A revocable living trust is a set of instructions of what you want to have happen, but you also appoint someone to act on your behalf to make that happen without the need for probate court's oversight. So that's really the big difference between the two and when you would use one or the other. Now, there are some other situations why you may want to use a revocable living trust, but generally speaking, that is the main difference. Now, besides a trust, if the only assets of a decedent are maybe financial accounts, and all of those accounts have beneficiaries listed, then those assets would pass according to those beneficiaries. So if you have someone listed on your checking account, on your life insurance, on your investments, on any kind of financial account, that is who's going to receive that asset upon your passing. That does not require a will. That does not require a trust. It will just pass that individual automatically. So that's another way to structure your estate plan to avoid probate if that's what you're looking to do um, by having beneficiaries set up on all of your accounts. However, there are going to be some assets probably that you just cannot set up a beneficiary for and where either a will or a revocable living trust will need to control that asset. So again, probate is just the court's oversight of the administration of an estate with a will or without a will but the court oversees it. Generally speaking, a probate will take at least six months from start to finish here in Washington state, but usually they're, they're more along the lines of nine to 12 months. So I would plan for about a year for a probate process if you are facing probate for a, a relative or a loved one. If we can be of any assistance to you with a probate, you can give us a call or a text. Our number is 206-408-8158. Thank you.